Virgin Galactic, a big week ahead with macro conditions and preparing for that vote for the reverse split. So what we need, what we need now is a full technical chart analysis. And that's exactly what we've got with Sensei, giving his full perspective on the upcoming week and his predictions. And now on with the video. Thank you, Martin. Yes, let's have a look at SBCE. Unfortunately, it's been a very sad week for SBC. We have said it for a while that SBC can go under a dollar. A lot of people denied it. We've been saying it since $4.11. Since we broke $4.11, we've been saying it. Um, not that I wanted it to happen, but it was always quite likely it was going to happen just with the trend that SBC was on. Um, um, but now I'm going to look at um, what I think, where the stock is going, my long-term, short-term uh, and medium-term targets for SBCE. Um, it's going to be a fairly short video, so if you can stick with me to the end, that would be very appreciated. And please do hit the like button if you do want to be updated on the technicals. Um, and if you do enjoy the warnings I gave you for so, 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 uh, I, I hope I saved a few people losing money. Again, I don't give financial advice, but when the charts... We're breaking 411 and I said it's just to get out the stock and when we hit $1.50 and I said not a terrible time to buy but then when we hit 246 and I said it's it's looking bad again and we're breaking trend it's just giving you that information for you to decide what you want to do so if you do enjoy the information I give if it does help you please do hit the like button and even if it doesn't it might you might just want the SBC content just to um give you some hope or whatever it is, please do hit the like button and leave your comments down below and I'll, I'll see if I can help um, or um, answer your questions. But yes, right now, SBCE is looking... What, what we've always been worried about is the trend. The trend is your friend. The trend is your friend until it ends. The trend is your friend until it ends. And what's the trend been? Been for the last... Since 2021, down. There is no reason for us to think it was going to change. It's been down. It has a few pops up, and that's where we're trying to make our money. Down, down, down. You can just literally see it's just been heading down. And then we had an opportunity at 150. The trend, the trend changed in the short term to the upside, but when the trend was changing again back to the downside, if you go into the daily candles, what I was warning you about, if you go in the wood videos before, look at this purple line. The trend was to the upside, and then the the, the trend is your friend and the trend changed. The trend was no longer to the upside, it was to the downside. And that your final warning to get out was at 2.35. Um, and the issue is some people don't mind. They say, oh, the trend is changing, but I, I don't mind holding on. 2.35. Now, the issue of you don't mind holding on, you think you're doing a good thing because you want to carry on holding your shares and your stock and you believe in the company, which we all do. We believe in the company. But instead of you're, you're doing yourself a disservice because with that 235 share, you can now buy practically three shares for the price of you selling one there. So if you really love the company, why not try and own more of the company and sell out to be buying at, at, at levels which are better? Um, but anyway, that's in the past. You learn from your mistakes. Um, you don't go down with a sinking ship. You try and accumulate as many shares as that is. You can still love a stock and not be in it. You don't have to be emotionally attached. Um, but that's that's a lesson for the future. Where we are right now, I wouldn't suggest selling now. We're at eighty five cents. Realistically, if this if this goes below fifty forty cents, the company's finished, in my opinion, which is not good news. So we are we must be if this company is going to survive. This is a buying opportunity. I do not have any levels in mind. My my final levels were one dollar, one dollar ten. That's what I've been calling for. That's now happened, and of course, we're, 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 we're a fair amount under that. What do I think of SBC right now? I think it's a buy. Um, again, obviously, they've got the Boeing issues. Is it going bankrupt tomorrow? No, it's not. They've got enough cash until 2020, end of 2025, in my opinion, beginning of 2026. Even if they lose the Boeing lawsuit, I think they can continue for another year. Um, if things start looking bad, that will start you you would start seeing the stock price start going down in 2025 2020 middle of 2025 when people start thinking of bankruptcy scares if they if people start thinking they're going to run out of money but right now it's not nothing to be worried about in my opinion their market cap's 352 million they've got more cash than that right now SBC is one of those stocks on the stock market right now which at these levels now I would not be afraid to be buying um, 
and that and that's why on my chart right now I'm going to do something just so everyone knows at these levels where are we right now I mean I would have said it below but let's just say exactly the price we are right now I'm going to write a note um, to say buy now for those people that love the company why wouldn't you be buying it right now uh, it's my first time I've said buy it the last time I said buy was at 150 and we sold at 244 I'm saying it again, in my opinion, not financial advice, buying at these levels makes sense. Um, it could, what's the worst case now? You, I've always said if the worst case is it drops 50%, that's something I don't mind buying. If the worst case is I lose half my money, of course, it can go to zero. But if my opinion is the worst case for this company to, to be surviving, um, is about 50 40 cents if it goes to 50 40 cents it can still survive um and go up to two four five ten dollars if that's the worst case is i miss out on a 50 cents SBC. i'm happy to be buying now because when it drops 50 percent again i'll be buying then of course it can go all the way down to zero but what i'm trying to say is the areas where I would want to buy. I wouldn't want to buy the stock anywhere below 50 cents because more like uh, at that point, it's looking like the market has priced in the bankruptcy. But if it goes to 50 cents, 52 cents, it still can survive. So for me, if the stock can drop 50%, um, I'm happy to be buying it now and when it drops 50% because this company can still survive at around 45, 50 cents. So for me, I'm happy to be buying it now and happy to buy it at 75 cents, 65 cents, 50 cents. Um, I'd much rather be buying in now and not missing out on SBC when it hits two, three dollars because I don't want to be buying it anything above a dollar when I've had the opportunity to buy it under a dollar. Um, so for me, SBC is a buy right now. Um, it, it, it might pop up to one dollar. Um, well, I actually expect it to pop up to one dollar this week. Um, I expect this for the price to go up this week. You can try and start day trading this um, if you want to, but if you want to just be holding long term, then um, do whatever you feel comfortable with. If you haven't day traded before, I wouldn't um, recommend you start day trading now. Um, but I do reckon this can go up to one dollar this week and then maybe sell off again. So don't be surprised if you see the stock. Um, go up to one dollar this week and then start coming back down to the levels we are again so there might be an opportunity to buy now and sell at one dollar there might be an opportunity to buy now and sell at one dollar ten and then it might drop back down and then it might continue back up to around 140 so something like that can play out and i'll leave that on the chart um, it is going to be volatile it is not going to be going above three dollars in the next couple of years in my opinion it's going to be very small um jumping around i think it will start leveling out around 150 i think that 150 level is going to be key i think we're going to go to 150 and um stay around that level for for a year or two again there is a, um, the reverse stock split which obviously will mess up our charts and, and the exact levels but the percentages will stay the same um, and that's my thoughts on SBC. For me, it's a buy. It is oversold. The RSI is that is, is, is approaching the most oversold it's ever been. Um, the MACD um, is actually in the red zone, um, but that can start moving up to the green. But the RSI is what's important right now, and that's very, very oversold. SBC, SBC is a buy from me. Let me know what you're doing in the comments below. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Sensei. Great job as always. Always great to get your insight from a technical chart perspective. Click above my head for more links down below in the description and over here and over here for more information in the series. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.